way, way back in the middle of nowhere. This is Southwest Virginia. We're gonna come up on Hagen Hall here in just a second. It's an old estate, I guess you'd call it. There's not much left there of the main house. Uh, it's kind of the ruins of it left now. Uh, can't get too close to it either, but we're gonna check it out. We can get right up to the Hagen Family Cemetery, which we'll find. Uh, it took us a little bit of walking there in the woods, but we'll find it. Really old cemetery that the Hagen family built uh, when they, they had the house here when they lived here. Do a little roaming around. We'll also find a couple of abandoned churches here. One that's really old right down from Hagen Hall, and then one that's uh, a lot newer down the road just a little ways too. for the cemetery here now all we really know is it's somewhere here in the woods there's no cell phone signal here so we couldn't really get our bearings well through GPS but we did know we we were there we finally stumbled upon this this concrete stone wall whatever it is I guess it's not concrete it's too old and uh, there's the little old family cemetery there the Hagen family cemetery a lot of these graves are crazy old I guess somebody comes here maybe once twice a year and kind of clears it out just a little bit but I don't think there's a lot of visitors that come here at all see the tall the Celtic cross there that's Patrick Hagen that's his grave he was the patriarch of the family he was born in 1828 in Ireland and then died here in 1917 uh, somewhere 88 89 years old depending on what month he was born and died but uh, he was the the main one that got everything started here on Hagen Hall back out of the woods here back away from the cemetery get uh, another look here at Hagen Hall this is right over from it I don't know if it's man-made or uh, just kind of swampy marsh and then there's the Hagen Hall the mansion ruins way off in the distance there about as close as we could get from the little gravel road that runs in front of it Just up the road, not far at all from Hagen Hall. It's an old church, it's a abandoned church. From what I've read, it was called Christ the King, it was a Catholic church. Uh, started in the 50s, lasted maybe 15, 20 years or so into the 60s, maybe in the 70s a little bit. Uh, we're gonna check it out, explore it. There's not a lot there, but we'll check out what is there. Thank you. 
remote where this is. It's way back in nowhere. But it's really cool, really nice out here. And then uh, the church was different. This side over here kind of had a log cabin vibe to it. I'm not sure if this was original to the church or if this was added on later. I don't know if this was used for storage or what it was. And then on inside these steps over here, ladder steps, whatever you want to call it, leading upstairs. This was super, super sturdy. Really heavy duty wood, still in good shape. And nothing really up here though to check out. I guess this was maybe storage here too. it a double outhouse I don't know if maybe there was a wall between the two seats back in the day doesn't really look like there was but I guess you sit in here and sit beside whoever needed to go beside of you it was a good sized little outhouse here for the church <laughs> upon one that's a lot more modern this next one has been abandoned maybe 10 15 years of that yeah, a lot different vibe but, but more of a zombie apocalypse kind of vibe at this other church where it was a more modern thing going on we're gonna go check it out now at all to see a bunch of baby dolls laying in, a, in the floor in a church in the middle of the woods. Baby dolls and Bibles that haven't been touched in years. was in relatively decent shape not a ton of vandalism I'm sure some of this stuff is but a lot of it like one part the roof kind of falling in and walls falling in that's all weather related stuff not a lot of graffiti or anything I don't remember actually seeing any graffiti still got some songs here on the old piano or organ or whatever just wouldn't make any noise when I tried some of the pews knocked over were probably done by people. I think 
all this damage was probably done by water getting in and a leak in the roof all that coming down the wall kind of coming in there the old air hockey table just sitting there wasting away the date on these certificates was 2004 for the year I don't know if that's when the church has been sitting abandoned since then so that put it what 18 years so it may have had some had some years sitting here empty which would explain why the, the roof was looking like it was on that one part of the building all right but that's it for this church i'm gonna check out the old playground here kind of had a chernobyl sort of feel to it and then there's the outhouse for this church it Maybe, maybe there was an older church here or something. I don't know because this church was newer and had a bathroom inside, but there was an outhouse here too. Uh, not sure what's up there. This is actually the only graffiti I remember seeing was in the outhouse. But that's this church, and we're going to head on out of here and get on back out of the, uh, out of the woods here, head back into civilization for a little while. Thank you.